BOA closure system. To release and or loosen the brace compression, pull out on the BOA knobs. To tighten the brace compression, push the BOA knobs in and turn. Exos Form 2 631 637, four simple steps to follow. Step 1 Size the brace. Measure circumference of the patient approximately 1 inch or 2.5 centimeters above the widest part of the hips. For patients whose circumferential measurement is between sizes, select the larger brace. Align the tip of the Velcro attachment on the rear panel section with the correct circumference indicated on the sizing tape. Remove the sizing tape. Step 2. Open the brace. Loose embrace by pulling out on both BOA knobs and pull rear panel section in opposite directions. Step three, apply the brace. Apply the brace to the patient by centering the rigid front panel on the patient at the desired location. Have the patient insert his or her hand into the donning mitt pocket. Wrap the front panel belt wing section over the rigid front panel. Note, the Exos logo on the front panel should be facing upright and away from the patient. Remove the brace and apply the tall rear panel. Have the patient insert his or her hand into the donning mitt pocket. Wrap the front panel belt wing section over the rigid front panel. Note, the glide track should be positioned in the middle of the waist groove. Panel may be adjusted by detaching and resecuring the hook sections vertically on the rear panel section as desired. Applying the 637. The Exos Form 2 637 is the same brace as the Exos Form 2 631, but includes two extension side panels. The same application applies with the 637. Step four, tighten the brace. To tighten the brace, have the patient push in on both BOA knobs and turn the knobs. Note, the left BOA knob controls the top half of the brace. The right BOA knob controls the bottom half. Brace removal. Loosen the brace compression by pulling out on BOA knobs. Detach the hook and loop connection on the belt wings and remove brace. Panel molding front tall rear panel. To mold the front panel and or tall rear panel, remove the foam lining and then heat the panel with either an Exos heating device on lowest setting or a heat gun at 170 degrees Fahrenheit, 77 degrees Celsius, until the panel is malleable. Shape appropriately and let cool. Reapply the foam liner. Brace adjustment, trimming tall rear panel, to trim the tall rear panel, remove the foam liner and trim following the groove found on the top one quarter of the brace. The foam piece can be trimmed similarly. Reapply the foam liner. Helpful note number one, optional bridge wing. For patients whose circumferential measurement is between 60 and 70 inches, 152 to 178 centimeters, use the optional bridge wing. Adhere hook portion of the donning mitt section to the loop exterior of the bridge wing. Apply the brace as instructed. Helpful note number two, petite patients. For smaller patients, you can remove the donning mitt section entirely and adhere the rear panel section directly to the front panel wing. Helpful note number three, optimal waist fit. If a patient has a size differential between the waist and hips, or the patient experiences post-surgical swelling, followed by weight loss, the brace is designed with two detachable belt wings, which can be easily repositioned to achieve optimal fit. Helpful note number four, optimal brace height. The brace can be adjusted for optimal fit if needed for patients with differing torso lengths. To do so, lay the tall rear panel so the glide plates are facing up. Position glide plates so that both plates are closest to the raised center section of the tall rear panel. Helpful note number five, post-surgical relief. If needed, post-surgical relief can be achieved by cutting around and removing the midline portion of the rear panel liner. 
Helpful note number six, belt wing trimming. Once proper fit is confirmed, the excess material on the belt wings can be trimmed. Note, add-on components may require factoring in more belt wing length. Helpful note number seven, extension side panels. Adhere the extension side panels on the loop side inside of the tall rear panel padding between the padding and the panel. QR code. More information about this product can be found by simply scanning the QR code found on the sewn-in label.